Hi there, my name is Vince from Mr Telephone and today I'm going to talk about the difference between Cat 5e and Cat 6 plugs. A lot of people think there's no difference but there is a difference between the plugs, although it is very subtle. Uh, you need to pick the right plug, so if you're using Cat 5e cable you need to go to, for a Cat 5e plug and if you're using Cat 6 cable you need to go for a Cat 6 plug. So I'm just going to do a, a quick video here just to uh, explain the differences and show the differences between the plugs because a lot of people are not aware, a lot of people do fit Cat 5e plugs to Cat 6 cable and uh, this video will show you the difference. Okay, so this is an RJ45 plug, you probably all already know this, it's used for Ethernet cables. Uh, also known as 8P8C because it's uh, 8 position and 8 contacts. Now this one here is a Cat 5e plug. Now when you look quickly at them they look exactly the same but if you look at the ends can you see this one here it's got staggered it's got staggered holes so the one on this side here this is a Cat 5e all the pins are straight Okay, but on the Cat 6 one, the pins are staggered. So, also known as a high low connector. So, that's a low high, low high, low high, and it goes across like that. Now, the reason Cat 6 is staggered is because uh, it helps the data integrity and it also cuts down on cross talk by uh, separating, the, separating the wires. So, uh, and apparently it's also uh, when you're untwisting the, the, the wires, you want the minimum untwist possible and by using a staggered connection, you can uh, untwist the wires less. I mean, it must be only very, by a very small amount because you do have to untwist the wires to get them into the plug, but that's what the manufacturers state. Now, uh, if you look at the cable, there is a difference between Cat6 and Cat5e cable. I'm not going to go into all the differences now, but I'm going to just talk about the diameter of it. So if you look at Cat5e cable, so you will see that this one here, see, can you see that? Cat5e, Cat5e. And if you have a look here, it is, where's the American wire gauge? There you go. So it's 24 American wire gauge. And the Cat6 cable, This is a Cat6 cable. Have a look. Can you see there, Cat6 cable? And if you have a look, you will see that this one is a 23 AWG. AWG means America, uh, American wire gauge. And uh, just reading off here, 23, although it's a smaller number, it's actually wider in diameter. So basically, 23 American wire gauge is 0.573 millimeters in diameter. And 24, which what American wire gauge, which is a Cat 5e, is 0.511 millimeters in diameter. So there is a difference in the uh, in the size of the cable. So if you were to use uh, a Cat 6 cable in a Cat 5e plug, it's a lot harder to get into the holes. You can struggle. A lot of people do use it, but Cat 6 plugs are not much more expensive. So you might as well use the proper ones. And if you have a look at the ends with the with the cables actually terminated it will make more sense hopefully you'll be able to see the staggered the staggered connections more right so if you have a look here this cable here is the cat 6 and this cable is the cat 5e let me just try to keep that nice and still so you can see now I'm not sure if you can see the the wire's staggered or not, but on this one here it's straight, and on this one here it's staggered. Okay, now that's not the only difference between uh, uh, on RJ45 that you have to look out for. Some are made for stranded cable, and some are made for solid cable. Most of the ones you get nowadays are made for solid and stranded, but sometimes you can still get them now which are just, just made for stranded. So if you, uh, if you have a look at the this one here, this is on the Cat6 one, if I was to pull out one of the gold plugs, the gold pins, it's hard to see, it's, it's tiny, it's hard to see, but basically it's, this one here is staggered. So when the cable goes in, it's, uh, it's, it's kind of staggered like that. So when the cable goes into it, 
just cuts either side of the cable like that okay so you can get a two pronged one you can also get a three pronged one let me show you with three prongs This is a three prongs, and again, it's staggered. On this one, it's just so it's so hard to see because it's so small. I'm not sure if you can see the light bouncing off that or not. But on this one, it's got three prongs, and one the middle prong sticks out that way, and the two prongs stick out that way. So again, when the wire goes into it, it just grips it like that. And the last one, I haven't got a, a, I haven't got an actual example of the last one, but the last one is uh, is this shape here. So this is for stranded core only. So as you can see, this is a cross section here of the pin, and it, like a dart, goes straight into the middle of the cable. So the three types are this. You've got the two pronged one. These are the most common. And as you can see, the cross section here, the two prongs, they're slightly one goes in and one goes out, and it just straddles the cable there. You've got the three prong, which is for solid, sorry, the two prong is for solid and stranded core. Yeah. The three prong is also for solid and stranded core. Again, it straddles the cable. It goes on the outside. And this one here is a three pronged, but the middle, the middle section here goes straight into the middle of the cable. This is for stranded only. And the reason uh, with the stranded one, it needs to go straight into the middle to make a good connection. But with the solid one, it needs to it needs to straddle the cable because if it goes straight into the middle of the cable, it could work loose, loose uh, uh, over time. So it needs to go either side of the cable and just touch the uh, just barely touch the copper, it's just so uh, it makes a, a nice good connection. The other thing to look out for is the back of them. If you can have a look here. You can see that it's a nice open back. It's got a curve at the top, so this is made for rounded cable. It's not very often, but you can also get rectangle ones that are, uh, you know, about half the size, and they would be for flat, flat cable. So uh, let's say they would be used for maybe medical equipment and stuff like that. You wouldn't use them for your, uh, you, you wouldn't run any any broadband or any data down it, it would be just used for uh, you know medical equipment where the wires didn't need to be twisted, it would be for flat, flat cable not rounded cable. You can also get shielded plugs, again same setup they've just got metal shielding around them so if you're using FT, F, FTP or STP cable then you would need to use one of these but if it's just UTP cable you don't need a shielded plug you would just use a normal, normal one like these. Now, the ones I prefer are just a one-piece plug. So that means you, you get your wires and you uh, push them straight in. So, it's just like that, the wires, go, the wires go straight into it. But you can get these ones here. These are, uh, let's get the right one. This one here is a two-piece plug. So it's got a little, it's got a little wiring guide here, a little wire guide and the plug here. So you can't insert the wires straight into that plug. You have to first of all put your wires into the wiring guide and then slot the wiring guide into the plug. Okay? So it goes like that. Yeah. Now the fiddly thing with these are they, these are easy if you're not used to if you're not used to these plugs. These two what are these two uh, uh, two piece plugs are quite easy because you can set them up beforehand and push them in. But as you get more used to doing plugs I do find a one piece much easier. Now you have to get these the right way up. Obviously in here you can if you can see that can you see that that's shaped like so and it only fits one way into the plug it needs to go to the very end. If you would put it in the wrong way it's not going to go all the way to the end. But you don't always know that when you're wiring it up. So what you need to do is if you have a look at the guide you will see that the top section has got cutouts. One of the one side's flat and the other side has cutouts. Now the cutouts are to allow the pin to pierce through the cable. So obviously if you put it in the wrong way, well, it's not going to fit the wrong way, but if you put the wires in the wrong way, then it's annoying because you've got to start over again. So just make sure that you uh, put the slots here where the pins are. So when you uh, push the wires in, you want to be starting with the orange 
the white orange on this side if you're using the B configuration and then when you slide it in you know you've got it the right way around because it's annoying when you put the wires in the wrong way around you go to slide it in and you realize that the pins the pins are the, uh, the, the, the coloring codes wrong so just be aware of that that one side of them's got to cut out and uh, yeah, so that's it. Basically, just a, a quick recap. So Cat 5e plugs are different than Cat 6 plugs. Cat 5e plugs are dead straight when you put the wires in. They're not staggered at all, so they just go in dead straight. Cat 6 plugs are staggered, so one low, one high, one low, one high, one low, one high. Uh, use the, the correct plug for the cable, because then you're not going to get any faults in the future. You will probably get away with it, but Cat 6 cable is hard sometimes to terminate in Cat 5e plugs because it's ever so slightly thicker, the wires ever so slightly thicker, and Cat 6 plugs are not much more expensive, so you might as well get the right ones. Uh, secondly, make sure you get solid or stranded. If you're using solid core cable, you need to get the, 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 the pins that accept solid or stranded, so the ones that are staggered like that, or the two-prong ones like that. If you're just doing patch cables, then by all means just go for the, the stranded ones, but it, most of them now are solid and stranded. But just double check it because when you're, you're, you're buying something, you need to make sure you get the right ones. Because if you go for the, the if they're patch ones and if, if for, for stranded and you push them into solid core cable, again, it will work for a while, but it will cause problems after, after time. It will just work its way, the copper will work its way loose. So uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for your time. If you want to buy any of these products, then uh, my website is www.mrtelephone.co.uk I uh, hope you enjoyed watching the video there will be more of these in the future please subscribe thank you very much bye now